living large and loving it. Two Canadian sisters flaunted their excessive lifestyle for the world to see, splashing photos of expensive watches, handbags, yachts, to tens of thousands of followers on Instagram. But that jet-setting life just got grounded. The women, who a friend confirms are high-end sex workers, are virtually unrecognizable in a picture taken from a Nigerian courthouse this month. Jyoti and Kirin Matharu of Toronto have been detained in Lagos, Nigeria. They're accused of trying to extort money from Nigerian billionaire Femi Otadol by claiming they have evidence he cheated on his wife. We spoke with a reporter in Nigeria who's been covering the accusations against the sisters. They tried to blackmail him and he wasn't forthcoming with uh, their demands. So he filed a complaint to the police and an investigation was launched. And the investigation led to even more charges. Not only are they accused of a crime against one businessman, court documents allege the Matharu's cyber-bullied 274 people. They're accused of creating a website exposing infidelity among Africa's ruling class, a site that is now offline. Just very shocked about everything that happened. Salem Musalem is a good friend who believes the sisters have done nothing wrong. It takes two to tango here. If you know anything, if one person's doing something, the other person's doing something bad. Musalem has been in contact with the sisters regularly. We're all right. We're fine. We're, we'll come and see you back soon. See you. Uh, we're going to be going to Vegas. We're going to Vegas in February. You're going to see them in Vegas. So everything's like we're going to we're going to be fine. But whether the women make it to Sin City in time will be up to a Nigerian court to decide. The sisters will be making another court appearance next month. Canada's Global Affairs says it is providing consular services, but other than that, it's not saying much else. We apologize to Femi Ochidola and his family, especially his wife and children, and all the other petitioners. We created a platform called NigerJustLive.com and .co, where people can send in stories. Most stories were sent by close friends or associates of people being written about. The intention was not to hurt anyone or to be malicious. The intention was not to extort anyone. We haven't received any money from this website. The money went to Baba Tunde Oyebode of Hustle Inc. We are again very sorry and we assure all the petitioners that we will not have any affiliation whatsoever with this website or any other website that has to do with this. We promise not to say anything of the contrary to what we are saying now. We freely volunteer to make this video and not under duress because we are aware of the damages done to people.